Hello, I'm Justin and today I'm going to do a unboxing of the Duo Gamer controller for the iPad. Um, it allows you to play games from Gameloft and I will list all the games on the screen. So first of all I'll just do an unboxing and then, then we'll have a look at some of the games. So we'll see what we get in this box. Um, okay, it's the box there. So it comes with a instruction manual uh, in different languages of course. A um, Right, well here's the controller itself, um, it's now in its sort of docking station device, I've put the batteries in so you can see the lights come on, it comes with this uh, sort of soft cloth pouch and your, your instruction manual of course, um, the stand is mm, not bad I suppose, quite, quite solid plastic. The controller itself, well, it's a stupid design shape, but, you know, we'll see what it acts like when you, you try it on some games, but I don't know why they chose a sort of rectangle box shape when they could have done more of a sort of curved shape to mould into the hands. But um, the proof will be when we actually test it on some games. Uh, so I'll just set the iPad up and we'll come back and we'll give it a try and see how well it works. Right, I've now paired the um, gamepad over there with the iPad, so we'll see what it looks like um, playing some of the games. This is Gameloft Asphalt 7 Heat, and we're going to try it with the controller. Welcome to London. Right, we're here again and we're going to test out another one of the Gameloft games. This particular game is uh, Wild Blood, so we're going to have a, have a look at the uh, first chapter and give it a bit of a, a whirl. Please, don't leave me in here. That was the Duo Gamo um, controller, which you can see here, which uh, supports only Gameloft games, and this is the stand. Um, well, my final thoughts, I find that the controller itself is definitely very responsive, and, you know, it's not too bad to play a game with, actually. Um, it's just sad that it doesn't support more games, and only, say, seven or eight games at this stage, and it, I wish it would support a lot more. Um, the shape of the controller definitely is bad, but uh, the experience of playing a game on the iPad instead of touching the screen with this controller is good. So let's hope that they bring a version 2 and they sort of bring a more angled design sort of Xbox, PlayStation, Wii U type controller. Um, anyway, I hope this has been of some interest to people, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.